I've just cleaned the engine bay and serviced this battery on this 06 Camry and now I'm going to do the spark plugs as part of a 100,000 mile service. Um, I'm hitting the area with some compressed air to get the moisture out from the engine wash and then also clearing out any debris that might be there. These little tabs on the connectors are very brittle. I broke two, um, but it's not too big of a deal. There's nothing pulling on that harness and uh, when they reconnected they, they stay in place just fine. Wiggling the coil a little bit uh, to break it free from the spark plug and pulling it off of the spark plug. A few of the tube stills, sills stayed in place <clears throat> and then you can see a couple of the broken connector pieces there. Uh, inspecting uh, to see if I need to replace any tube sills or boots um, ends uh, for tracking or anything like that, cleaning them up good. Down the cylinder holes I'm going to hit these with some compressed air, make sure no debris or anything's going to go down into the cylinders. And then make sure that all my spark plugs have consistent gap um, and very ch carefully checking those with a feeler gauge so I don't damage the electrode. And then um, pulling out each spark plug here. Um, I hit the new spark plugs with uh, anti-seize with chrome plated threads. Uh, you theoretically don't need it but I've only ever had problems with spark plugs coming out um, when they didn't have anti-seize. Partially inserting it into the socket here and so I can lightly thread it into place and then be able to pull it back out again without my socket sticking down in the hole onto the spark plug. Go ahead and remove the remaining three spark plugs. and install them again with the new ones. Then with the standard 5-8 socket I'll tighten each of the spark plugs up. And the spec on that is 14 foot-pounds. Just lightly snug is really what you're going for here. Nothing crazy tight. I'm reusing the old boots um, and tube sills because they look fine and that's what I had uh, available right at the time of doing this um, but it's a good idea and it's pretty cheap to replace the component rubber components while you're at it. I'm also using a little bit of dielectric grease here um, which is an insulator and seal for, sealer for electrical connections. Back in with the coils and the bolts for those. Those are very lightly snug to 80 inch pounds and then the connectors are put back in place and the cover put back on and this uh, ignition tune up for the spark plugs is done. I have another video of doing a throttle body clean on this vehicle if you'd like to see that. Uh, this is also a good time to check and replace your air filter. I hope you found that useful. I appreciate you watching. I hope you like and subscribe.